Welcome to the Flutter CI CD course over here. And if you want to learn some of the more advanced concept in the Flutter CI CD, make sure to check out my course in my website where we will cover all of the topic related to the Flutter CI CD with the code magic as well as the GitHub action. So let's go and see what are the topics that we will be covering over here. Let's scroll down. The first thing that we are going to cover is the continuous integration over here and we will also cover the continuous delivery similarly we will have the continuous deployment over here and we'll also make use of the code magic yaml file and we'll also cover the server code push and then we also have the github action over here so whole bunch of the topics that we are going to cover with the flutter ci cd over here and i hope you will enjoy this particular course as well as the topics that we have covered over here I hope to see you till then have a great day yeah hello there and welcome back and let's continue with our lesson over here and in this particular lesson let us try to see how we can upload our apk or the ipa file to our firebase app distribution so we need to use one of the actions so you can just go and take a look on this particular action and read the documentation over here so we will require the firebase uh, app right credentials and um, you require a file right and uh, you also can set up the groups and then the tester and if you go down this is how you can actually make use of this one so let's go back to the firebase console over here and let us create uh, one a new project over here um, i'll just go and call this one as the you all right so you can code i guess that's what we have and i'll just call this one as a day for now and okay so i have the raise the limit already that's perfectly fine let's i'll just go and delete some of the projects that i don't use it anymore and i'm not going to enable any of the google analytics over here because it's not related the course is not related to the uh, Google Analytics. I'll just disable and uh, let's go and create and let's wait for this to complete over here. It's going to take, I guess, around one minute over here. And it has been done. So let's continue from here and uh, let's open up our, uh, let's add the Android and then the iOS app. So what you need to do is you need to add the package name over here so let me just go and copy the uh, package name from the application itself and uh, let's just go and add the let's add the name sorry I say uh, you can code over here and I'll just give a name as a day for this one which is just a test application and now uh, let's go and uh, register the app and just uh, i don't need to download this one for now because i'm not going to use it so just click on next and continue to the console and i'll also add the ios app for now and i'll just give the same the bundle id and the name i'll just go and give the uh, you can code as well right and that's the dev itself and let's just go and register the app we just need to register the app for now and i guess it's going to take a couple of okay so we don't need to download that as well just click on next and click on next and go to the console so let's go to the uh, project setting from here and in the project settings what i can see is i have to um, the apps added over here one is for the android and one is for the ios so what I need to grab from here is this one. So the app ID. So if you go and read the documentation properly, uh, you will see that we will require the app ID, right? And then the service uh, credentials, groups, and then the file. So let us go and set up the app ID is required, right? So this is uh, what we have. So let's just copy this one and i'll go back to my uh, environment variables so let's just go and close this one and uh, let's go to the settings from here and we'll go to the secrets and then the variables actions and i'll add it to the uh, repository setting and um, 
it's if you have the uh, flavor like the multiple flavor production qa and they and all of those uh, you can manage the environment for that one since we don't have all of those uh, set up for now that will be on the later stage one we uh, once we are uh, once we go to the more advanced stage we will see how we can configure all the environments and configuring the flavor building the flavor and all of those stuff but for now let's just keep it as, as simple as possible and we will move this one to the repository secrets over here and add a new one and i'll just go and add the app id over here uh, it's not a good practice to just go and hard code this one in your the uh, workflow yaml file it's uh, better to add it as a secret if you don't want to add it over here you can also go and add that directly to your workflow yaml file but it's always a good practice to keep it secret over here and this will be of the i'll just just go and give the i'll give it as a uppercase if i refer base right firebase app underscore the id android and the dev version and just add this particular secret and what i need to do is i need to do the same thing for the ios itself right so let's just go and set this one and i'll just go and remove this one to the ios over here and uh, then i need to add that particular uh, app id as well so let's just go and grab the app id from here and let's paste it over here so that's it add the uh, app secrets uh, for the uh, firebase app id for the android as well as the ios and if you go and read the documentation uh, next we need to enable the groups and then the tester if you want to just go and send it to the specific one so let's just go over here and in the uh, build i guess i okay it's not in the build i guess so let's just go and take a look over here app distribution it's under the run section and i'll select the app distribution and let us enable this one over here i'll get started over here and uh, let's wait for it to complete and we'll go to the testers and then the uh, groups over here i'll just go and add the uh, android I'll just go and add the Android and I can also call the uh, internal so this is for the internal groups and just go and save that one and I'll add the another one which is of the iOS internal or you can give any name depending on your requirement so you can just go and add the um, the tester over here and add the tester so you can just invite the user to test for the app so once we have uh, this one which is of the uh, group and then the tester right so currently we don't have the testers but that's fine so we can directly distribute that particular to the groups over here and uh, let's go and take a look over here and in the releases let's take a look on to the ios as well make sure that is also configured over here get started over here and it's going to take a couple of seconds over here let's wait for it to complete so now you can see that we have the android as well as the ios so the uh, the app distribution is enabled as well as the groups has been created over here and the next step is if you go back over here we need to create the uh, service credential file content or the service credential file so for that you can just go and read the documentation but uh, i'll just show you how we can do that so let's just go over here in the project settings and go to the service accounts and uh, let's wait for it to load over here and from here what we'll do is we'll select the two service accounts so that will send you to the uh, google uh, cloud console over here and uh, we need to select the uh, your proper project from here so i'll just go and select the uh, the proper project that is linked with your this particular firebase uh, the app and what i need to do is i need to go and create the service account 
So let's go to the uh, service account over here and create the uh, service account and I'll just call this one as the uh, fire base right and then the app distribution over here and, and this will be for the uh, you can code over here right so you can see the code as well you can give any name so I'll just go and say this uh, service account is uh, used for the Firebase app right Firebase app distribution and that is correct so it's not required but it's good to add this particular uh, description over here so you can remember because you may create a multiple service account and later you may for forget that uh, for what purpose did you actually created this particular service account so if you add the uh, proper description over there then uh, you know that okay so this particular service account is used for this one so that will uh, prevent you from accidentally deleting or revoking the access permission and all of those stuff so just going uh, create and continue from uh, here and uh, we need to select the proper grant the service account access to the project so what i need to do is uh, i need a firebase app distribution okay so firebase app distribution admin i'm just going to give that one and click on continue from here and that's all so let's just go and give it done and firebase app distribution so this is the one that we have and i'll just go and click and manage the keys from here and now i need to add the new key generate the key and i'll make use of the json just go and create that one and it's going to download that particular uh, file so what i need to do is i need to open this particular file and then, then I'll just go and copy the content, right? So this is the uh, file content over here. So let me just go and copy all of the file content from here. Make sure you copy it correctly. I'll just close this one. And let's go back to the action. And I need to go and create the new repository secret so over here. And I'm going to paste this one over here. And I need to add the um, the name. So if you go over here, let's just go and make use of the name that uh, okay. So credential file content, and just copy that. And I'll just go and add the and I will set the proper name over here. So it's quite long, but uh, that's good description over here. So I know that this is for the five S app distribution credential. And I'll just go and add this one as well. So now we have the all of the required. This is the service uh, account content file, and this is the uh, app ID, right? So this is what we require. So if you go to the documentation, we require the app ID and then the uh, uh, service account uh, credential file content. And we also have created the tester and the file we have already. So what I will do is I'll just go and copy this particular. Uh, the code from here and what i will do is i'll just go back to my application over here and uh, let's just go and add it over here so let me just go and make it a little bit bigger over here so we can see it correctly so once the build is uh, successful and it has been uploaded the last step is that i want to do is i want to upload it to the um the firebase app uh, console right so let's just go and add it over here and now uh, let's try to arrange this one as well properly so let me just go and uh, drag it a bit over here so we can see both of this one and what i need to grab is uh let's just go and grab this one from here the the app id so currently we just have the apk file right so we don't have the ipa file so we just we'll just upload this one for now because we haven't uh, created the code signing for the ios so we cannot generate that particular ipa file 
so this will be of the firebase app id and i'll just go and re uh, replace it with the correct one from my account and also i need to replace this one for for the correct one so let's just go and set this one over here this is secrets and then that one so the group will be of if you go back and then the if i go to my app distribution uh, testers and then the group it will be of this one so let me just copy this one from here right and let me just okay so let me just go and copy this one from here and i need to provide it over here right so make sure it's on the uh the lower case over here and then the output so output will be of the, this one right so let's just copy this one and uh, let's just paste it over here and i guess that should be fine now what i can do is i'll just go and get and add and uh let's just go and say git cumm i to commit that m and added the uh, firebase app uh, dist rib but and firebase app distribution right and i guess that should be good one git then then the push it and that should trigger a, a new build for us so let's just go back over here and i'll just go and take a look from here so let's go to the actions and okay so it has triggered a new build for us and uh, let's wait for this one to complete and let's see if uh, we are able to upload that particular build to the firebase app uh, distribution and uh, finally completed but we got some error right so let's see the container action is only supported for the linux that is because we are using this particular version and uh, that has some issue and it only supports the linux so what we need to do is there is another one which is of the firebase as app distribution which is for the linux windows and mac os and it is also for from the same repository that we are actually using so what we will do is we will replace that one with this one so sorry for that actually i need to use that one I only have to replace the action but the rest still remains the same so you don't have to worry about anything what you have to do is you just have to replace that particular action so let's go back over here and now uh, we will just go and replace that particular action and uh, then what we'll do is let's try to go and add it and uh, commit it and let's just go and push it one more time and uh, hopefully this time we should be able to upload that particular uh, apk to the firebase app distribution so let's go back over here to the actions and uh, let's wait for this one to complete and finally you can see here that the we got the green check mark which basically means that it has been uploaded so let's go back to the uh, the app distribution in the firebase and let's try to refresh this particular page over here we should be able to see that particular application over here soon so let's wait for this one to complete and let's go to the releases so it should be on the android it's it doesn't have for the ios itself because we haven't created the ip so now you can see uh, we have successfully uploaded our apk file from the um, the GitHub action back to our Firebase app distribution. That's pretty cool, right? And you can do the same thing for the IPA, but currently we don't have the signed IPA, or we are we are not on we are unable to create that particular IPA file. That's right. So uh, I guess that's all for this particular lesson. We will continue in the next uh, lesson. Till then, have a great day.